Oshasam was the Shri Akshar Purushottam Swaman Arayan Sanstha, often abbreviated as BAPS, is a worldwide religious and civic organization within the Swaman Arayan branch of Hinduism. BAPS was established as a formal organization on June 5, 1907 by Shastri Maharaj. It was formed on the founder's doctrinal stand that Swayman Arayan had promised to remain manifest in the person of Akshar, a term used to describe his chief devotee in Swayman Arayan's abode. Due to the organizational emphasis on the doctrine, also spelled as the Akshar Purushottam doctrine, it essentially forms part of the organization's middle name. The fundamental beliefs of BAPS include the spiritual guidance through Akshar as the Gunadit Guru who is believed to be in close proximity to Swayman Arayan and the necessity to identify with the living Guru as a means to acquire oneness with Akshar and offer pure worship to Swayman Arayan. Gunadit Anand Swami is recognized in BAPS as the foremost Akshar in the lineage of Gunadit Gurus. He was succeeded by Bhagatji Maharaj, Shastri Maharaj and then Yodji Maharaj. Pramak Swami Maharaj is the current guru and spiritual leader of BAPS. As a global Hindu minority organization, BAPS actively engages in a range of endeavors aimed at spirituality, character building and human welfare. The activities span religious, cultural, social, and humanitarian domains. Through these activities, it aims to preserve Indian culture, ideals of Hindu faith, family unity, selfless service, interfaith harmony and peaceful coexistence. Currently, 880 sages, 55,000 volunteers, and 3,850 temples serve 3,850 communities around the world. As part of its efforts towards community outreach, BAPS also engages in a host of humanitarian and charitable endeavors, by which its volunteers serve neighbors and communities. Through the BAPS Charities Non-Profit Aid Organization, BAPS has spearheaded a number of projects around the world in the arenas of healthcare, education, environmental causes, and community building campaigns. Mondeurs The Mondeur, known as a Hindu place of worship, serves as a hub for the spiritual, cultural, and humanitarian activities of BAPS. The organization has about 1,100 mondeurs and a total of 3,300 volunteer-run centers spanning five continents. In the tradition of the Bhakti movement, Swayman Arayan and his spiritual successors began erecting mondeurs to provide a means to uphold proper devotion to God on the path towards moksha, or ultimate liberation. BAPS mondeurs thus facilitate devotional commitment to the Akshar Purushot Mapazana in which followers strive to reach the spiritually perfect state of Akshar Brahman, or the ideal devotee, thereby gaining the ability to properly worship Purushottam, the Supreme Godhead. Equals Munda rituals equals, the offering of Bhakti, or devotion to God, remains at the center of Munda activities. In all BAPS Swayman Arayan Mundas, Murtis, or sacred images of Swayman Arayan, Ganatitanan Swami, BAPS gurus and other deities, are enshrined in the inner sanctum. After completion of prana pratishta or life force installation ceremonies, the deities are believed to reside in the Murtis, and are thus subjects of direct worship through sacred daily rituals. In many mondas, Murtis are adorned with clothes and ornaments and devotees come to perform darshan, the act of worshipping the deity by viewing the sacred image. Arti which is a ritual of waving lit lamps in circular motions to illuminate the different parts of the murti while singing a song of praise, is performed five times daily in Shaikhabada mundurs and twice daily in smaller mundurs. Additionally, food is offered to the murtis amidst the singing of devotional songs three times a day as part of the ritual of thawal, and the sanctified food is then distributed to devotees. Daily readings of and discourses on various Hindu scriptures also take place in the mundur. Many mondas are also home to BAPS sages, or monks. On weekends, spiritual assemblies are held in which sages and devotees deliver discourses on a variety of spiritual topics. During these religious assemblies, bhakti is offered in the form of curtains, or devotional songs with traditional musical accompaniment. Religious assemblies also take place for children and teenagers of various age ranges. Throughout the year, Mondas are the sites of traditional celebrations of Hindu festivals. 
assemblies with special discourses, curtains, and other performances are arranged to commemorate Rama Navami, Janmashtami, Diwali, and other major Hindu holidays. Equals Mundar activities equals, in addition to being focal points of religious activity, BAPS Mundars are also centers of culture. Many forms of traditional Indian art have their roots in Hindu scriptures and have been preserved and flourished in the setting of mundars. Many BAPS mundars outside of India hold Gujarati classes to facilitate scriptural study, instruction in traditional dance forms in preparation for performances and festival assemblies, and music classes where students are taught how to play traditional instruments such as tabla. Many devotees view the mundar as a place for transmission of knowledge of Hindu values and their incorporation into daily routines, family life, and careers. Apart from classes teaching about religion and culture, mundars are also the site of activities focused on youth development. Many centers organize college preparatory classes, leadership training seminars and workplace skills development workshops. Many centers host women a Euro unregistered trademark S conferences aimed at empowering young women. They also host sports tournaments and initiatives to promote healthy lifestyles among children and youth. Many centers also host parenting seminars, marriage counseling, and events for family bonding. BAPS Mundars and cultural centers serve as hubs of several humanitarian activities powered by local volunteers. Mundars in the US and UK host an annual Welcathon to raise funds for local charities such as hospitals or schools. Many centers also host annual health fairs where needy members of the community can undergo health screenings and consultations. During weekend assemblies, physicians are periodically invited to speak on various aspects of preventative medicine and to raise awareness on common conditions. In times of disaster, Centers closest to the affected area become hubs for relief activity ranging from providing meals to reconstructing communities. Equals Notable Mundurs Equals The founder of BAPS, Shastri Maharaj, built its first and a Euro ONMS Aki Euro Mundur and Bosch Sen. The organization a Euro unregistered trademark S second Mundur was built in Sarumpa, which also hosts a seminary for BAPS Sarjus. The Mundar in Gondal was constructed around the Akshadari, the cremation memorial of Gonaditanan Swami, who is revered as a manifestation of Akshar Brahman. Shastri Maharaj constructed his last Mundar on the banks of the river Gala in Gadada, where Swaminarayan resided for the majority of his adult life. Yajji Maharaj constructed the Mundar in the Shahabagh section of Ahmedabad, which remains the site of the international headquarters of the organization. Under the leadership of Pramukh Swami Maharaj, over 25 additional Shaikh Abad Mundars have been erected across Gujarat and other regions of India and abroad. As a consequence of the Indian emigration patterns, Mundars have been erected in Africa, Europe, North America, and the Asia-Pacific region. The BAPS Mundar in Neesden, London was the first traditional Hindu Mundar built in Europe. The organization a Euro unregistered trademark S. Sixth North American Shaikh Abad Mundar was recently inaugurated in the New Jersey suburb of Robinsville, NJ. Currently, BAPS has a total of 34 Shaikh Abad Mundars around the world, with another nine under construction. In addition to its Shaikh Abad Mades, BAPS has over 1,100 other Mundars spread over five continents including around 70 mundurs in North America and 12 mundurs in Europe. Additionally, the BAPS has also constructed two large temple complexes dedicated to Swaminarayan called Akshadam, which in addition to a large stone-carved mundur has exhibitions that explain Hindu traditions and Swaminarayan history and values. Akshadam temple complexes have been built in India in New Delhi and Gandhinagar, Gujarat. History equals doctrinal origins equals formation the history of BAPS as an organization begins with Shastri Maharaja Euro unregistered trademark s desire to propagate the mode of worship as interpreted from Swaminarayan's teachings during Swaminarayan a Euro unregistered trademark s own time his group a Euro unregistered trademark s spread had been curbed by opposition from Vaishnava Sampradayas and others hostile to Swaminarayan a Euro unregistered trademark s Bhakti teachings.
due to the hostility of those who found Swayman Arayana Euro unregistered trademark s growing popularity and teachings unacceptable, Sargis, Pagtash Intamani and devotees during Swayman Arayana Euro unregistered trademark s time tempered some of the public presentation of his doctrine, despite their own convictions, to mitigate violence towards their newly formed devotional community. The original doctrine taught by Swayman Arayan continued to be conveyed in less public fora, but with the passage of time, Shastri Maharaj sought to publicly reveal this doctrine, which asserted that Swayman Arayan and his choicest devotee, Ganatatanan Swami, were ontologically, Purushottam and Akshar, respectively. However, when Shastri Maharaj began openly discoursing about this doctrine, hereafter the Akshar Purushottam doctrine, he was met with opposition from some quarters within the Vartal diocese. As the opposition against him grew violent, Shastri Maharaj was left with no choice but to leave Vartal to escape violent physical assaults. Thus, Dr. Williams, notes, the very basis for separation from the Vartal diocese and raison d'Euro unregistered trademark for the formation of BAPS was this doctrinal issue. Revelation of Doctrine Swayman Arayan is viewed as God by BAPS followers. Thus, his writings and discourses form the foundation for BAPS a Euro unregistered trademark theological tenets. Regarding Swayman Arayan's philosophy, Akshar plays a fundamental role in the overall scheme of ultimate liberation. Swayman Arayan indicated that those who wish to offer pure devotion to God should imbibe the qualities of the Gunatit Guru, Satsanja Jivanam Volume 4 72 1, 2. As Akshar, embodied as the Gunatit Guru, offers pure devotion transcending Maya. Swayman Arayana Euro unregistered trademark S philosophy of liberation, which is to a Euro OE identify oneself with Akshar to offer the highest devotion to Pura Shottama Euro, is also found in various Hindu scriptures, Mundaka Upanishad 3 Hobbs 9, Srimad Bhagavatam 1 11, Bhagavad Gita 18 54. It follows that the doctrine that Shastri Maharaj propagated, as Kim observes, a Euro E did not result in the rejection of any scriptures. Instead, it was the beginning of a distinctive theology which added a single but powerful qualification that Akshar plays in the form of the living Guru Euro. BAPS devotees also believe that Swayman Arayan propagated the same doctrine through the Mundurs he built. From 1822 to 1828, Swayman Arayan constructed a total of six Shaikhabada Mundurs in Gujarat. In each he installed the Murtis of a principal deity coupled with their ideal devotee in the central shrine, Na Narayan in Ahmedabad and Buj, Lakshmi Narayan in Vartal, Madan Mohan in Dhalara, Radha Raman in Janagod, and Gopi Nath in Gadada. As Kim notes, for BAPS devotees, the dual Murtis in the original Swayman Arayan temples imply that Swayman Arayan did install a Murti of himself alongside the Murti of his ideal Bhakta or Guru. Thus, Shastri Maharaj was simply extending that idea by enshrining the Murti of Swayman Arayan along with Ganatatanan Swami, his ideal devotee, in the central sanctum. However, many within the Vartal and Ahmedabad dioceses did not subscribe to this view and this became one of the main points of disagreement that led to the schism. Shastri Maharaj explained that as per Swayman Arayana Euro unregistered trademark S teachings, God desired to remain on earth through a succession of enlightened gurus. In many of his discourses in the Vachanam root Swayman Arayana explains that there forever exists a Ganatit guru through whom Swayman Arayana manifests on earth for the ultimate redemption of jivas. Further, Shastri Maharaj noted that Swayman Arayan had a Euro where he expressly designated a Euro the Gunatit Guru to spiritually guide the satsang while instructing his nephews to help manage the administration of the fellowship within their respective dioceses. Each Gunatit Guru in the lineage has continued to reveal his successor. Gunatitanand Swami revealed Pragji Bhakta, who in turn revealed Shastri Maharaj, who pointed to Yodji Maharaj, who revealed Pramukh Swami Maharaj the current guru, thus continuing the lineage of Akshar. Numerous historical accounts and texts written during the Swayman Arayan and the Ganatitanan Swami eras identify Ganatitanan Swami as the embodiment of Akshar. 
followers of the APS believe that the Ekantik Dharma that Swayman Arayan desired to establish is embodied and propagated by the Ekantik Satpurusha Euro the Gunadit Guru. The first such guru in the lineage was Gunaditanand Swami. Shastraji Maharaj had understood from his own guru, Pagatji Maharaj, that Gunaditanand Swami was the first Gunadit Guru in the lineage. Propagation of doctrine by Pagatji Maharaj Although Pagatji Maharaj was originally a disciple of Gopalanand Swami, Gopalanand Swami instructed Pagatji Maharaj to seek the company of Gunaditanand Swami if he desired to attain the Gunadit state. Through his association with Gunaditanan Swami, Pagatji Maharaj understood that the doctrine of Akshar Purushottam was the true doctrine propagated by Swayman In 1883, Shastraji Maharaj met Pagatji Maharaj in Surat. Recognizing Pagatji Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark as spiritual caliber, Shastraji Maharaj began spending increasing amounts of time listening to Pagatji Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark as discourses and soon, he accepted Bhagatji Maharaj as his guru. Over time, Shastraji Maharaj, also became a strong proponent of the Akshar Purushot Mapazana. After Bhagatji Maharaj died on November 7, 1897, Shastraji Maharaj became the primary proponent of the doctrine of Akshar Purushottam. He believed that the construction of Mondas guided by this doctrine was urgently needed to facilitate followers a Euro unregistered trademark practice of this understanding of Swayman Arayan devotion. Equals foundation and early years equals, in this regard, Shastraji Maharaj persuaded Acharya Kanvihari Prasaji to consecrate the Murtas of Aksha and Purushottam in the Vedwan Munda. Shastraji Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark s identification of Gunaditanand Swami as the personal form of Akshar was already a paradigm shift for some that led to a Euro O opposition and hostility a Euro A from many within the Vedtal diocese. Moreover, the installation of Gunaditanand Swami a Euro unregistered trademark s Murti next to Swaman Arayan in the Bedouin Mandir led to further hostility and opposition from many sages of the Vedtal temple who were determined to prevent the murti of Gunaditanand Swami from being placed, along with Swayman Arayan in the central shrine. Although several attempts were made on his life following this event, Shastraji Maharaj maintained his reluctance to leave Vedtal. However, Krishnaji Ada, a respected lay leader of the Swayman Arayan Sampraday, saw a threat to Shastraji Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark s life and advised him to leave for his own safety, as per the teachings of Swayman Arayan in the Sheikh Chapatri verse 153 to 154. Acknowledging the commands of Swayman Arayan in the Sheikh Chapatri, Shastraji Maharaj decided to leave the Vartal temple to preach in the surrounding regions until the temple became safe again. On November 12, 1905, Shastraji Maharaj left the Vedtal temple with five sages and the support of about 150 devotees. However, he did not consider himself to be separating from Vedtal as he instructed his followers to continue their financial contributions to and participation in the temples of the Vartal diocese. See Shastraji Maharaj, Formation of BAPS, Wanders to Facilitate Doctrinal Practice, on June 5, 1907 he consecrated the Murtas of Swayman Arayan and Gunaditanand Swami in the central shrine of a Shaikh Habadamunda he was constructing in the village of Boshasan in the Kida district of Gujarat. This event was later seen to mark the formal establishment of a Boshasan with Yaksha Purushottam Swayman Arayan Sanstha, which was later abbreviated as BAPS. The Gujarati word Boshasan Wizi implies hailing from Boshasan, since the organization a Euro unregistered trademark s first mondo was in this village. Shastraji Maharaj continued to consolidate and spread that the Akshar Purushottam teachings of the nation BAPS and spent the majority of 1908-15 discoursing throughout Gujarat, while continuing construction work of Mondas in Boshasan and Sarumpur. As recognition of Shastraji Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark s teachings continued to spread throughout Gujarat, he acquired a loyal and growing group of devotees, admirers, and supporters, many of whom were formerly associated with the Vartal or Ahmedabad diocese of the Swayman Arayan Sampradaya. Over the next four decades, Shastraji Maharaj completed four more Shaikh Abadamundas in Gujarat. Kim notes that these temples, 
in essence, represented the fundamental doctrine that Shastri Maharaj wished to propagate based on Swaminarayana Euro unregistered trademark s teachings, a Euro with ultimate reality, Purushottam and the means, in the form of the Guru, which, enables a, devotee to offer eternal devotion to the ultimate reality Euro. Thus, this historical period marked a focused emphasis on building Shaikarabad Mundas as a means of conveying Swaminarayan doctrine. Eventual successes, on August 12, 1910 Shastri Maharaj met his eventual successor, Yajji Maharaj, at the house of Jadevi in Boshasen. Yajji Maharaj was a resident sadhu at Janagod Mundar, where Ganatatanand Swami had served as Mahant. Yajji Maharaj understood Ganatatanand Swami as Aksha and also served the Murti of Sri Hari Krishna Maharaj which had previously been worshipped by Ganatatanand Swami. As he already believed in the doctrine being preached by Shastri Maharaj, Yajji Maharaj left Janagod on July 9, 1911 with six sages to join Shastri Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark S mission. On November 7, 1939, 17-year-old Shaintalil Patel, who would become Pramukh Swami Maharaj, left his home and was initiated by Shastri Maharaj into the Parshad order, Ashanti Pagat, on November 22, 1939, and into the Sadhya order, as Sadhya Narayan Saruptas, on January 10, 1940. Initially, he studied Sanskrit and Hindu scriptures and served as Shastri Maharaja Euro unregistered trademark as personal secretary. In 1946, he was appointed Kathari of Sarangpur Mundur. In the early part of 1950, Shastri Maharaj wrote several letters to 28-year-old Shastri Narayan Saruptas expressing a wish to appoint him as the administrative president of the organization. Initially, Shastri Narayan Saruptas was reluctant to accept the position, citing his young age and lack of experience and suggesting that an elderly, experienced sadhu should take the responsibility. However, Shastri Maharaj insisted over several months, until, seeing the wish and insistence of his guru, Shastri Narayan Saruptas accepted the responsibility. On May 21, 1950 at Ambali Bali Pol in Amdavad, Shastri Maharaj appointed Shastri Narayan Saruptas as the administrative president of BAPS. He instructed Shastri Narayan Saruptas, who now began to be referred to as Pramukh Swami, to ennoble satsang under the guidance of Yajji Maharaj. See Pramukh Swami Maharaj, appointment as president, in the last few years of his life, Shastri Maharaj took steps to preserve the growth and future of BAPS by registering BAPS as a charitable trust in 1947 under India Euro unregistered trademark S new legal code. Equals development and organizational formation equals, after the death of Shastri Maharaj on May 10, 1951, Yajji Maharaj became the spiritual leader, or guru of the organization while Pramukh Swami continued to oversee administrative matters as president of the organization. Yajji Maharaj carried Shastri Maharaj a Euro unregistered trademark s mission of fostering the Aksha Purushottam doctrine by building temples, touring villages, preaching overseas and initiating weekly local religious assemblies for children, youths and elders. In his 20 years as guru, from 1951 to 1971, he visited over 4,000 cities, towns and villages, consecrated over 60 mundars and wrote over 545,000 letters to devotees. Youth Movement This period of BAPS history saw an important expansion in youth activities. Yajji Maharaj believed that in a time of profound and rapid social ferment, there was an imminent need to save the young from a Euro degeneration of moral, cultural and religious values a Euro unregistered trademark. To fill a void in spiritual activities for youths, Yajji Maharaj started a regular Sunday gathering of young men in Bombay in 1952. Brie notes, his flair, dynamism and concern led within ten years to the establishment of many Yavik bandals of dedicated young men in Gujarat and East Africa. In addition to providing religious and spiritual guidance, Yajji Maharaj encouraged youths to work hard and excel in their studies. Towards realizing such ideals, he would often remind them to stay away from worldly temptations. As a result of his abiding love and care, a number of youths were inspired to take monastic vows. 
On May 11, 1961 during the Gadar de Kalash Mosov, Yojji Maharaj initiated 51 college-educated youths into the monastic order as Sarjis. East Africa, Satsang in Africa had started during Shastji Maharaj Euro unregistered trademark S lifetime, as many devotees had migrated to Africa for economic reasons. One of Shastji Maharaja Euro unregistered trademark S senior Sarjis, Nurgandas Swami, engaged in lengthy correspondence with these devotees, answering their questions and inspiring them to start satsang assemblies in Africa. Eventually, in 1928, Harman Patel took the Murtis of Akshar Purushottam Maharaj to East Africa and started a small center. Soon, the East Africa Satsang Mandal was established under the leadership of Harman Patel and Megan Patel. In 1955, Yojji Maharaj embarked on his first foreign tour to East Africa. The prime reason for the visit was to consecrate Africa Euro unregistered trademark S first Akshar Purushottam Temple in Mombasa. The temple was inaugurated on April 25, 1955. He also travelled to Nairobi, Nakuru, Kisumu, Tororo, Jinja, Kampala, Mwanza and Dar es Salaam. His travels inspired the local devotees to begin temple construction projects. Due to the visit, in a span of five years, the devotees in Uganda completed the construction of temples in Tororo, Jinja and Kampala and asked Yodji Maharaj to revisit Uganda to install the Murtis of Akshar Purushottam Maharaj. The rapid temple constructions in Africa were helped by the presence of early immigrants, mainly Leva Patels, who came to work as masons and were particularly skilled in temple building. As a result, Yojji Maharaj made a second visit to East Africa in 1960 and consecrated Hari Mondas in Kampala, Jinja and Tororo in Uganda. Despite his failing health, Yojji Maharaj at the age of 78 undertook a third overseas tour of London and East Africa in 1970. Prior to his visit, the devotees had purchased the premises of the Indian Christian Union at Ngera, Kenya in 1966 and remodeled it to resemble a three-spired temple. Yojji Maharaj inaugurated the temple in Ngera, a suburb of Nairobi in 1970. England, in 1950, Mahendra Patel and Purushottam Patel, disciples of Shastji Maharaj, held small personal services at their homes in England. Mahendra Patel, a barrister by vocation, writes, I landed in London in 1950 for further studies. Purushottam Bhai Patel was residing in the county of Kent. His address was given to me by Yodji Maharaj. Beginning 1953, D.D. Magani held assemblies in his office that brought together several followers in an organized setting. In 1958, leading devotees including Navan Swaminarayan, Prafal Patel and Shitrangan Patel from India and East Africa began arriving to the UK. They started weekly assemblies at Seymour Place every Saturday evening at a devotee Euro unregistered trademark S house. In 1959, a formal constitution was drafted and the group registered as the Swayman Array on Hindu Mission, London Fellowship Centre. D.D. Meghani served as chairman, Mahendra Patel as vice chairman and Prafil Patel the secretary. On Sunday 14 June 1970, the first BAPS temple in England was opened at Islington by Yodji Maharaj. In this same year he established the Sri Swayman Arayan Mission as a formal organization. United States, Yodji Maharaj was unable to travel to the United States during his consecutive foreign tours. Nonetheless, he asked Dr. K. C. Patel, a chemistry instructor at Brooklyn College, to begin satsang assemblies in the United States. He gave Dr. Patel the names of 28 Satsangi students to help conduct Satsang assemblies. In 1970, Yodji Maharaj accepted the request of these students and sent four Sarjis to visit the U.S. The tour motivated followers to start Satsang Sabas in their own homes every Sunday around the country. Soon, Dr. K. C. Patel established BAPS as a non profit organization under U.S. law. Thus, a fledgling satsang mandal formed in the United States before the death of Yodji Maharaj in 1971. Philosophy The philosophy of BAPS is centered on the doctrine of Akshar Purushottam Upazana, 
in which followers worship Swayman Arayan as God, or Pershottam, and his choicest devotee Gunadatanan Swami, as Akshar. The concept of Akshar has been interpreted differently by various Swayman Arayan denominations, and one major reason for the separation of BAPS from the Vartal Diocese has been attributed to doctrinal differences in the interpretation of the concept of Akshar. Both the Vaidtal and Ahmadabad dioceses of the Swaymanari and Sampradaya believe Akshar to be the divine abode of the supreme entity Purushottam. The BAPS denomination concurs that Akshar is the divine abode of Purushottam, but they further understand Akshar as a Euroian eternally existing spiritual reality having two forms. The impersonal and the personal are Euro followers of BAPS identify various scriptures and documented statements of Swayman Arayan as supporting this understanding of Akshar within the Akshar Purushottam Upazana. BAPS believes that the entity of Akshar remains on earth through a lineage of a Euro Oe perfect devotee Seguro, the gurus or spiritual teachers of the organization, who provide a Euro Oe authentication of office through Gunatatanan Swami and back to Swayman Arayan himself. A Euro followers hold Pramak Swami Maharaj as the current personified form of Akshar and the spiritual leader of BAPS. Equals Swayman Arayan ontology equals the Swayman Arayan ontology comprises five eternal entities, Jiva, Iswa, Maya, Brahman, and Parabrahman. The entities are separate and distinct from one another and structured within a hierarchy. Encompassing the entities of both Swayman Arayan and his ideal devotee, this hierarchy emphasizes the relationship between Akshar and Purshottam. Parabrahma at the top is Parabrahman. Parabrahman is the highest reality, God. He is understood as Zavakata, Zavopari, Saka, and Pragat. He is also one and unparalleled, the reservoir for all forms of bliss and eternally divine. Parabulman is also referred to as Pershottam and Paramatma, both of which reflect his supreme existential state. Furthermore, Parabulman is the only unconditioned entity upon which the other four entities are contingent. Brahma subservient to Parabulman is Brahman, also known as Akshar which exists simultaneously in four states. The first state is in the form of the impersonal Kadekash, the divine, all-pervading substratum of the cosmos. Another form of Akshar is the divine abode of Parabrahman, known as Akshadam. Muktas, or liberated Jivas, also dwell here in unfathomable bliss and luster which is beyond the scope of human imagination. The other two states of Akshar are personal, which manifest as the ideal servant of Pershottam, both within his divine abode of Akshadam and simultaneously on earth as the God-realized saint. Maya below Brahman is Maya. Maya has three main qualities of sattva, rajas, and tamas that it utilizes to create the physical world. Maya entangles Ishwa and Jiva and causes them to form an attachment to both their physical bodies and the material world. This attachment denies them liberation, and only through contact with the personal form of Brahman can they overcome the illusion created by Maya and attain liberation. Iswaris has a conscious spiritual beings that are responsible for the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the cosmos, at the behest of Parabrahman. They have greater power than the Jivas and are infinite in number. They are the deities that are above Jiva, but are also subject to Maya. Jiva the Jiva is the eternal soul which has not been liberated, as it is under the influence of Maya, and can be freed only through association with Akshar Brahma. Equals Akshar Pershottam Upazana equals, historical foundation, in 1907, Shastri Maharaj consecrated the sacred images of Akshar and Pershottam in a temple Euro unregistered trademark S central shrine in the village of Boshasen marking the formation of the BAPS Fellowship as a formally distinct organization. However, the fundamental beliefs of the Sampraday date back to the time of Swayman Arayan. One revelation of Gunadatanan Swami as Akshar occurred in 1810 at the Grand Yana of Diban, during which Swayman Arayan initiated Gunadatanan Swami as a sadhu. On this occasion, Swayman Arayan publicly confirmed that Gunadatanan Swami was the incarnation of Akshar, declaring, a Euro OE today, I am extremely happy to initiate Mulji Sharma. He is my divine about a Euro Akshadam, which is infinite and endless a Euro the first Acharya of the Vartal Diocese, Raghuvaji Maharaj, recorded this declaration in his composition, 
the Harilik Halpataru. Under the spiritual guidance of Shastri Maharaj, considered the manifest form of Akshar at the time, the fellowship continued the traditions of the Akshar Purshottam Upazana. He focused on the revelations of Gonatitanan Swami as Swaminarayana Euro unregistered trademark as divine about and choices devotee. Essence, the Akshar Purushottam Upazana refers to two separate entities within the Swaminarayan ontology. These two entities are worshipped in conjunction by followers of BAPS in accordance with the instructions laid down in the Vachanam root. According to BAPS, Swaminarayan refers to Akshar in the Vachanam root, with numerous appellations such as Sant, Satpurush, Bhakta and Saju, as having an august status that makes it an entity worth worshipping alongside God. For example, in Vachanam root Gadada 137, Swaminarayan states, a Euro OE in fact, the darshan of such a true Bhakta of God is equivalent to the darshan of God himself our Euro moreover, in Vachanamut Vartal 5, Swaminarayan states, just as one performs the Ma Pound Nsi Pujai of God, if one also performs the Ma Pound Nsi Pujai of the ideal Bhakta along with God, by offering him the Praza Pound D of God. And just as one prepares a Tha Pound L for God, similarly, if one also prepares a Tha Pound L for God a Euro unregistered trademark S ideal Bhakta and serves it to him. And just as one donates five rupees to God, similarly, if one also donates money to the great Santa Euro then by performing with extreme affection such similar service of God and the Sant who possesses the highest quality Isa Euro he will become a devotee of the highest caliber in this very life. Thus, in all BAPS Mondas the image of Akshar is placed in the central shrine and worshipped alongside the image of Purushottam. Furthermore, BAPS believes that by understanding the greatness of Goda Euro unregistered trademark S choices devotee, coupled with devotion and service to him and God, followers are able to grow spiritually. This practice is mentioned by Swayman Arayan in Vachanamut Vartal 5, a Euro OEB performing with extreme affection such similar service of God and the Sant who possesses the highest qualities even if he is a devotee of the lowest type and was destined to become a devotee of the highest type after two lives, or after four lives, or after ten lives, or after one hundred lives, he will become a devotee of the highest caliber in this very life. Such are the fruits of the similar service of God and God a Euro unregistered trademark S Bacta Euro metaphysical ends, as per the Akshar Purushottam Upazana. Each jiva attains liberation and true realization through the manifest form of Akshar. Jivas who perform devotion to this personal form of Brahman can, despite remaining ontologically different, attain a similar spiritual standing as Brahman and then go to Akshadam. It is only through the performance of devotion to Brahman that Parabrahman can be both realized and attained. Akshar is a living entity, according to the Akshar Purushottam Upazana. The personal form of Akshar is forever present on the earth through a lineage of spiritual leaders, or gurus. It is through these gurus that Swaminarayan is also held to forever remain present on the earth. These gurus are also essential in illuminating the path that needs to be taken by the jivas that earnestly desire to be liberated from the cycle of rebirth. This lineage begins with Gonatitanan Swami, a sadhu who lived conterminously with Swaminarayan. Members of BAPS point to numerous historical anecdotes and scriptural references, particularly from the central Swaminarayan text known as the Vachanam root, as veritable evidence that Gonatitanan Swami was the manifest form of Akshar. Swaminarayan refers to this concept specifically in the Vachanam root chapters of Gadada I-21, Gadada I-71, Gadada I-326, Ved Tol 5. Following Gonatitanan Swami, the lineage continued on through Bhagatji Maharaj, Shastri Maharaj, and Yodji Maharaj. Today Pramak Swami Maharaj is understood to be the manifest form of Akshar. Equals Swaminarayan praxis equals, according to BAPS doctrines, followers aim to attain a spiritual state similar to Brahman which is necessary for ultimate liberation. The practices of BAPS Swaminarayans are an idealistic a Euro or a portrait of Hinduism a Euro to become an ideal Hindu. Followers must identify with Brahman, separate from the material body, and offer devotion to God. It is understood that through association with Akshar, 
in the form of the God-realized Guru, one is able to achieve this spiritual state. Followers live according to the spiritual guidance of the Guru who is able to elevate the Jiva to the state of Brahman. Thus devotees aim to follow the spiritual guidance of the manifest form of Akshar embedding the principles of Dharma, Gnana, Vairagya and Bhakti into their lives. The basic practices of the Swaymanarayan sect are based on these four principles. Followers receive JNANA through regularly listening to spiritual discourses and reading scriptures in an effort to gain knowledge of God and only a Euro unregistered trademark as true self. Dharma encompasses righteous conduct as prescribed by the scriptures. The ideals of Dharma range from practicing non-violence to avoiding meat, onions, garlic, and other items in their diet. Swayman Arayan has outlined the Dharma of his devotees in the scripture the Sheikh Chapatri. He has included practical aspects of living life such as not committing adultery to respecting elders, gurus, and those of authority. Devotees develop vairagya in order to spiritually elevate their jivas to a Brahmic state. This entails practices such as fasting every eleventh day of each half of each lunar month and avoiding worldly pleasures by strongly attaching themselves to God. The fourth pillar, bhakti, or devotion is at the heart of the BAPS faith community. Common practices of devotion include daily prayers, offering prepared dishes to the image of God, mental worship of God and his ideal devotee, and singing religious hymns. Spiritual service, or sevan, is a form of devotion where devotees serve selflessly a euro while keeping only the Lord in mind. Members of the sect are known as satsangis. Male satsangis are generally initiated by obtaining a kanthi at the hands of a sadhu or senior male devotee while females receive the vartman from the senior women followers. Followers participate in various socio-spiritual activities with the objective to earn the grace of the Guru and thus attain association with God through voluntary service. These numerous activities stem directly from the ideals taught by Swayman Aran, to find spiritual devotion in the service of others. By serving and volunteering in communities to please the Guru, devotees are considered to be serving the Guru. This relationship is the driving force for the spiritual actions of devotees. The current Guru is Pramukh Swami Maharaj, who is seen as embodiment of selfless devotion. Under the guidance of Pramukh Swami Maharaj, followers observe the tenets of Swayman Arayan through the above-mentioned practices, striving to please the Guru and become close to God. BAPS Charities BAPS Charities is a humanitarian service organization that originated from BAPS with a focus on serving society. The spirit of service in BAPS charities can be traced back to Swayman Aran, who opened alms houses, built shelters, preached against addiction, and abolished the practice of sati and female infanticide with the goals of removing suffering and effecting positive social change. This ethic of service to society has remained at the forefront of the organization's values and practices and is apparent in its vision, that every individual deserves the right to a peaceful, dignified, and healthy way of life and by improving the quality of life of the individual, we are bettering families, communities, our world, and our future. BAPS Charities carries out this vision through a range of programs addressing health, education, the environment, and natural disaster recovery. The organization's worldwide activities are funded through donations and are led by a community of over 55,000 volunteers who are mostly members of BAPS. Equals health equals to prevent and alleviate bodily suffering and to foster good health and physical well-being, BAPS Charities engages in numerous health-focused activities. The organization operates 16 hospitals and clinics serving over 600,000 people annually, with its most recent hospitals opening in Ahmedabad in 2012 and in Vedodara in 2013. Additionally, BAPS Charities organizes health fairs run by volunteer medical professionals where visitors can undergo screening tests, increase health awareness, participate in consultations, and receive treatment. Supporting the goals of Michelle Obama's Let's Move campaign which is working to end childhood obesity, BAPS Charities recently launched a health awareness initiative in the United States focused on educating parents and children on benefits of a vegetarian diet. To support biomedical research, 
the Toronto chapter of BAPS Charities donated $100,000 raised from walkathons for Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children's Research and Learning Tower campaign. In India, the organization has carried out anti addiction campaigns led by several thousand children who spent their summer vacations traveling through cities and villages, persuading people to give up their addictions with personal appeals and presentations on the dangers of addictive behaviors. Equals education equals with the goal of improving educational opportunities and outcomes for younger generations, BAPS Charities funds scholarships, operates 10 schools and 8 colleges in addition to supporting other schools and running hostels. Through volunteer-led classes, the organization is working towards achieving 100% literacy in villages in India. In Africa, BAPS Charities has been active in providing children in need with school uniforms, school supplies and food and in addition to helping improve school facilities. In North America, BAPS Charities also organizes annual seminars for professional development where workshops help youth develop into personal skills, public speaking, management skills. Equals Environment Equals, BAPS Charities manages several programs designed to protect and improve the environment. Volunteers across the world have raised ecological awareness and promoted conservation by employing energy-efficient technologies and organizing large-scale tree planting campaigns and recycling programs. In India, the organization also leads campaigns to improve water supply and conservation and arranges camps to teach better animal husbandry. In Gujarat, BAPS along with other religious sects, professional associations, and civil rights groups expressed support for the Sada Zarova Dam project in the 1990s, citing its prospect of generating hydropower, irrigation, potable water, and flood management. Although some groups criticized the project for its effect of displacing area residents, BAPS sponsored initiatives to relocate and aid the affected communities. Equals disaster relief equals Relieving human suffering in times of humanitarian emergencies remains an important component of BAPS Karate Isa Euro unregistered trademark work. Within hours after the 2001 Gujarat earthquake, BAPS Charities volunteers began providing victims with daily hot meals, clean water, and clothing and assisted with debris removal and search and rescue missions. The organization also adopted more than 10 villages in which they rebuilt the entire community including all infrastructure and thousands of earthquake-resistant homes. With the help of donations from volunteers in India and abroad, the organization helped rebuild the area's communities by constructing schools, hospitals, and other buildings. After Hurricane Katrina struck the United States Gulf Coast region, BAPS Charities volunteer teams supplied hot food, water, emergency supplies, and relocation aid for victims. Recently, the organization partnered with UNICEF to provide medicine, clean water, and temporary housing for children affected by the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Equals community equals, along the continuum of humanitarian activities, BAPS Charities also organizes initiatives with the goal of effecting positive social change and promoting a stronger sense of community. The organization recently donated $250,000 to the National September 11th Memorial and Museum in New York City to educate future generations about the importance of IMSA, or non-violence, and the consequences of hatred. In India, BAPS Charities has organized numerous activities to help promote gender equality and improve the lives of women. Programs include campaigns against marriage dowries and domestic violence and seminars offering vocational guidance and self-employment training. Caring for the elderly and disabled is also a core value promoted by the organization. In the United Kingdom, BAPS Charities has an outreach program in place where children with chaperones regularly visit assisted living facilities and homes in their communities to spend time with the elderly residents. Notable projects and achievements, BAPS Swayman Arayon Sanstha is a charitable non-governmental organization affiliated with the United Nations. The organization is recognized as a non-governmental organization that holds general consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. In November 2005, the president of BAPS, Pramukh Swami Maharaja Euro along with the president of India, 
APJ Abdul Kalam, Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, and the leader of opposition, Lal Krishna Advani inaugurated Swaymanarayal Nakshadam, a 100-acre site in Delhi. Akshadam includes a 141 feet high monument constructed entirely of stone, two exhibition halls highlighting India culture and values, Delhi's first large format movie theatre, gardens, and a temple. On December 17, 2007 in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India's Delhi Akshadam was named the largest Hindu temple in the world by Guinness Book of World Records representative Mr. Michael Whitty. The temple, built on banks of Yamuna River here, was accused of lacking the environmental clearance and first culprit in Yamuna bed violation. Neesden Temple BAPS constructed what was at the time the world's largest traditional Hindu temple outside India. BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, London, also popularly known as the Neesden Temple, was opened in 1995. Constructed entirely from marble and limestone, the temple is popular amongst tourists seeking a unique place to visit in London. On July 8, 2000, the managing editor of Guinness Book of Records, Tim Footman and Andrew W. Dowsey presented Pramukh Swami with certificates marking his entries into the world-famous record book. The first certificate presented to him was for building and inspiring the largest traditional Hindu mandir outside India. The second certificate marked a record 355 temple consecration ceremonies performed by Pramukh Swami between April 1971 and May 2000. In 1999 BAPS opened its first traditional Hindu mandir in Africa a Euro in Nairobi, Kenya. BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, Nairobi is unique in that the interior is constructed entirely from intricately carved wood. In 2004 BAPS broke its own record when it opened the largest Hindu temple outside India near Chicago, USA. Based upon the Neesden Temple, BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, Chicago is the USA's second traditional Swaminarayan Temple. BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, Houston was the first. A similar, slightly smaller temple, it was opened in Texas, a month prior to the opening of the Chicago Mandir. July 2007 saw BAPS break its own record with the opening of BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, Toronto. The first traditional stone temple in Canada, and the largest such structure outside India. Just over a month later, in August 2007, BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, Atlanta was inaugurated, breaking the record broken the previous month in Toronto. The BAPS temple in Atlanta is currently the largest Hindu temple outside India. BAPS financed and produced the 2004 large format film, Mystic India, which retraces the 12,000 km barefoot journey throughout 18th century India undertaken by Neil Kamthani at the age of 11. 1. References External links Organization information, BAPS website BAPS Charities A Euro The Spirit of Service, BAPS Children's Website, Wonders and Monuments, Swaminarayan Nakshadam, New Delhi, Swaminarayan Nakshadam, Gandhinagar Gujarat, BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, London, Sri Swaminarayan Mandir Houston, Sri Swaminarayan Mandir Chicago, BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Samstha Chino Hills, California, BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, Toronto, Canada, Productions, Mystic India website.